<laughs> and Francisco is still, I'm pretty sure, under 18 in this game. God damn it. When I looked across the scene, the sword was already in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab, Mr. Galiz. Then why are we looking at just, this picture, Shutakumi? Maybe so this why was, does your maybe... memory picture seem to clearly imply <laughs> seeing no, you stabbing this was, her? Maybe this was like, she's trying to pull it out, but Elise is like, Oh God, stop! There's like so many barbs! <laughs> she's like, oh no, I got it! <laughs> she's like, oh God! Please! That key and feel sketch the jangles! <laughs> No, please. Sorry, two sex. I've never seen so much blood before. Blah. That's when I that's when I fainted. Can't blame me, can you? And when I woke, Mystic Army was stabbing Mystic Elise through the back. Mystic Army had escaped from her prison. Hmm. <laughs> This all yeah. confirms Miss Von Karma's theory. Von Karma strive for nothing but perfection. Since you gather such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Miles Edgeworth. Perfection is an impossibility, Francisco Von Karma. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Von Karma fucking rises from his grave like, What? That's the one saver What did you say? <laughs> Where Phoenix rides? Phoenix! Taser! Taser! I'm here to teach you just that. Dang. Okay. Okay. Sorber's in place. I didn't actually yeah, I see is. her. Never seen so much blood before. Let's question her about that. She definitely has seen blood in her lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I fainted. You can't blame me. And when I woke. You know how many people you've killed? <laughs> Miss Takami was still stabbing her. Okay, I mean. There's <laughs> decent <laughs> questions <laughs> of like how the fuck she got to the stabby stab. Uh, yeah. I feel like we start pressing some stuff. Do it. At that time, was the victim bleeding? Well, I was very shocked to be seeing all of this, of course. So I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I saw any blood. Not then. I'm sure that you didn't. Okay. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. In any case, let's be clear on one very important point. Did you actually see the instant in which the victim was stabbed? Like, again, if, if we knew if she stabbed her through the chest, do we have proof of that? I assume not. It's just going to say that she was stabbed in the back. Oh, she looks pretty unstabbed in that <laughs> in picture. In that picture, yeah, she looks fine. Also, is the... The knife is not being held. The sword is not being held by the statue in this picture, isn't it? No, it is. It is. Okay. It you looks. Can, you yeah, can't it really see it, but yeah, it's, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. her right hand. Her right hand is like, now, wait. like crossed over. Is there is there a contradiction between how much the blade is in her and how much blood is on the blade, or am I overthinking that? Mm. It looks like it only goes up to the first little bit, and then how much is on the. No, nah, I think you're overthinking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, nah, yeah, that's about right. I mean, if you took it out, some blood might have run down it once you took it out, so I could... Didn't actually see her stab. I've never seen so much blood. I, I, just for curiosity's sake. So you're saying that you saw the victim's blood? That's right. Some of it had splattered on the iris, too. <laughs> <laughs> when the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room. Also, Evanescence in the chest is, what do you have, Iris? A knife! No! No! <laughs> <laughs> I will never get tired of that fucking What a vine. good, what a good call. That was a vine, right? 
Like an old ass vine. I think. Yeah, I think that was old enough to be a vine. Yeah. God, old enough to be a vine. What a statement. So oh, and then Evanescence also said, "Wake me up inside." <laughs> Can't wake up. Can't I wake hate up. you. I hate you so much. I, Cause I looked the chat for like half a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, give me this the one defendant time. was arrested, she was meditating in her room. And her blood-flecked clothing was neatly folded in the corner. What? Her clothes were blood-flecked as well. Two things. First off, I, I read that as blood-fucked, which is wild. Also, no, no. Makumichi is actually in the chat right now. Yo! <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! Whoa! Makamichi! Hey. We literally just talked How about you doing? earlier in the stream. Hey, dude! It's so good to see you, Makamichi. <laughs> Hi, what's oh, up? We, it's we, me. We literally, we literally. I were hope like, you're doing. I hope you're, you're doing well. Yeah, man. And seriously, because earlier we literally were like, oh shoot, we were talking about that the big. Uh, swim donation and we were yeah. like oh makamichi if you're around say something because yeah. we missed you i haven't heard from you in a while it's good to hear from you yeah we should we're we're glad that you're here genuinely we should do another pool stream like, donation goal because yeah, it'd be absolutely. easy and you know the people probably want it the people probably want it i don't know <laughs> the people <laughs> demand wet boys <laughs> i hate that <laughs> Hmm, that seems quite conclusive to me. What should I do? Press this point further? I mean, we gotta press. If it's giving us the, the option to press. That's the correct decision, nine times out of ten when they yeah, ask that, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Going back to your previous statement, you said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed. But now, you say you saw the victim bleeding? Well, well, I say that I say that what I saw is what I saw. What did you see? Maybe I didn't see the poor woman get stabbed. Then what the or fuck maybe are we? I did. Then what are we doing here, Bikini? <laughs> but I saw that the girl pulled the sword out of her, plain as day. Maybe she was trying to help her. See? She's trying to help. She's trying to get the sword out. Yeah, which again is not, which is, again, is not what you're supposed to do if yeah. someone's been injured by uh, uh, a nice. bullet yeah. by a bullet or a stab wound. You should not uh, remove it until medical professionals have stabilized the wound. Let me, let me reach wound. in there and grab that bullet out of your body. <laughs> oh. I mean, for you. It's, same concept: arrows, bullets, knives, anything yeah. that's anything that's causing a wound like that you don't want to pull out until the wound's been stabilized because like they mentioned remember, that will folks, cause more bleeding out remember folks don't pull unless out. you're the one oh my god Ooh. Ooh. zach Sorry. get the fuck out of here Sorry. zach is who, who who are we having host the show again i feel like they haven't been around in a while either oh uh, uh sexy whistles now yeah sexy exactly. sexy get back here we need you to host the show again that's fair I think at this point, I think at this point, Sophie, uh, Sophia, and Forensic Beck are the ones who are yeah, so, planning so, on taking Sophie over. Sophie and Beck just like take over together. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they're, they're, they're planning it, so yeah, it's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Pulling the sword out—that's <laughs> just crazy. <laughs> what? Well, yes, Forensic it Beck. It is. It, it's my about, time. It's, about time it's take over. my time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it wasn't exactly pulling. It was more like it came out. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Witness, you will add this statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? More important than you can imagine. What are you doing, stepsister? I'd always love to know when things came God damn it. out. <laughs> the blade got plunged, eh? Plunged? Plunged. Plunged. It's weird saying plunged in this voice. <laughs> yeah, the more you say it, the weirder it's Plunged. <laughs> uh, I saw the instant in which the blade was plunged into the hilt. 
Yeah, oh. okay, so that's that we want to present Bikini. and say yeah, there's, not enough, there's absolutely not enough blood for this to have been. Bikini. You're a fool. <laughs> Bagool. Bagool. Bikini. Bikini. Sister Bikini, you are a reliable witness. Reliable at being stupid. At least <laughs> I'd like to think so. But there are too many contradictions here. <laughs> His shitty sass is so Yeah, funny it's good. What do you mean? You make it sound like as though I'm a liar. But you're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. It's like it's like genuinely the like be a female witness and not hit on Edgeworth challenge. And everyone yeah. fails. Yeah, no. Everyone fails. <laughs> what country no are you talking about? Especially if they're older. Like they're just <laughs> they're just fucked. Yeah, Edgeworth does seem to attract a lot of cougars. Do you think? Yeah, do you think, he does. Do you think that's like a conversation between him and Edgeworth or him and Phoenix, where he's like, "So, like, what's the deal with older women <laughs> liking you? <laughs> does that say something about me <laughs> or you? I'm not sure, and either way, I don't like it." <laughs> Now, see, I could see Phoenix teasing him about it, like, oh, endlessly. Oh, a billion percent. A billion percent. That 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 does remind me. <laughs> there was a period where, in my life, where I was younger, I remember my mother... <laughs> what my a mother sentence! Didn't... There was a point in my life where I wasn't old. <laughs> Be believe it or not, folks, at one point, me I was too. a Me too! Uh, Wes baby confirmed. Uh, but... I, I remember this. when I was, I think, in high school, uh, I was I wanted to work at a particular restaurant that was like a very nice, fancy place. And I remember my mom didn't want me to. And her reasoning boiled down to she thought there were going to be a lot of older women who were going to hit on me at this restaurant because wow. she thought that I was so cute. She was like, I, just, I just don't think that it's a good idea because I think just there might be some unsavory women there who might take advantage of you. No, and I was that's like, cute, Mrs. West. Really? <laughs> you think MILFs would be turned on by little old me? <laughs> Jesus. I hate this. And then you just had to word it like that. I hate that. And then Russ yeah, is like, yeah, I'm, talking, I'm, I'm, talking about like my, I'm talking about myself, so it's not weird. And then Wes is like, I'm definitely going to work there, Mom. Get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> 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 You know I'm into that hot MILF stuff. Mama. I hate this. Oh um, I hate all of this more than any of Oh, <laughs> more also, than I can verbalize. I was going to say, also in the Discord this week, again, more incentive pe for people to join the Discord, was t the 10th year anniversary, and I know Wes will know what picture I'm talking about, of me and Wes, we went cabrewing while doing oh, yeah. a show together in Indiana. Uh, Indiana. Uh, uh. And it was talking we, about the this, this yeah. Picture. We both we both like posed like this. We look like fucking babies in that picture. Yeah, it's great. we're we're tiny, tiny, tiny children. Uh, so more of the reason for you to join the Discord. But anyways, <clears throat> what contradictions are you talking about? The scene that the witness claims to have seen. The weapon was thrust up to its hilt into the victim. But we haven't oh, seen getting, this is picture. It getting, is it getting hot in here? <laughs> Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. My client is a smooth criminal. Iris, are you okay? Are you okay? okay? Iris, are you okay? Are you okay, <laughs> Iris? However... Both of these are complete impossibilities. What do you mean? Wah! Motherfucker! <laughs> Explain yourself. Let me finish a goddamn line. <laughs> to 
Stop. I know we Canadians are supposed to be polite, but I'm starting to lose my temper. <laughs> I don't have any more cheeks to turn to you. <laughs> I've turned all five of my cheeks to you. <laughs> don't ask me where the fifth one is. <laughs> to start with, do you think it would be possible to stab someone to the hilt with this? No matter how I look at the defendant, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. That would actually... She's a weak ass little baby. <laughs> that genuinely would be wildly hard to stab someone through with that. Wait, yeah, I mean, that's a lot. Even as a grown a, adult. That's yeah. a lot of sword. It's a yeah. lot of sword. It's a lot of sword. <laughs> Too much sword to handle. Hey, get out. Doesn't appear... What meaningless triple? I, too, may appear to be weak and frail. But I can crush men under my heel and make them weep, should I so choose. God bless you, Francisco. The and objection so many, stands. And so, many, and so many people are just like, please. Yes, please. <laughs> so many people are just getting sweaty. <laughs> and I would join them. Yes, Francisco, my darling. Well, okay. Well, I mean, like, not sp anyways. That's what, you, that's what you sound like. I though. hate you. You definitely did a Sal <laughs> voice for that, and I fucking hate you. <laughs> Wait, the judge I wept a little back there I must admit I shitted and farted <laughs> That isn't the only issue <laughs> That's more than just your shitting and farting <laughs> If this sword was truly stabbed into the body up to the hilt Two seconds and there'd probably be more blood on it. Well, just look at all the branches on it. It certainly wouldn't come out smoothly. That's... We also have the problem of the amount of bleeding. It's true that when a blade is left in a body, the it acts as a plug of sorts. And they're talking about the plug so much, I'm amazed this isn't a drug You're case. You're like, I do, I do know something about plugs, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, we're going, okay, we're going for that kind of plug. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> However, when the weapon is shaped like this, it's not a very comfortable plug. It's an entirely different story. First off, incredible joke. Secondly, I think I just noticed in this moment, that does, does Edgeworth normally have the little yellow speck on his chest for the badge? Or is that just when he's on oh. the defense attorney side? I don't know. Everyone... I mean, it looks too small to be the badge. I think that's what Edgeworth, or I think that's what it looks like on Phoenix. Well, then that's a really small badge. I would lose that all the Apparently time. Apparently, it's the badge. Yeah, it's people, Phoenix's people are saying it's Phoenix's badge. That's fucking dope. All right. Well, if, that's cool. I, I, I'm glad we don't have to carry that in the uh, in the U.S. Because you'd would, lose I, it. I, that's way too small. I lose it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> The wound would be too large for the blade to completely stop from bleeding. It's just Phoenix. And I was just say, that wound would be the size of <sighs> so much. Both ends of the sword. Yeah. Also, yeah, there'd be a lot of blood. If you got stabbed in the hell with that, there'd be a lot of blood. The, yeah. the, the badge looks so small because Edgeworth's tits are so big. That's fair. Uh, of course, there we go. Can't argue with that logic. That's nothing more than conjecture. In reality, the victim was stabbed with the shichishito in a weapon of this nature. It still sometimes slide out smoothly and may still sometimes stop the blood loss. Nope. I mean, is this also like an antique sword? Mm, yeah. Like, swords, uh, no. swords dull, y'all. No way that, I mean, honestly, I'm actually surprised that thing's sharp enough to even to kill stab? someone. stab? Yeah. Agreed. I'm not finished. That's such a great line. There is still one more conclusive contradiction. Anytime someone gets to say, I'm not finished in like an anime shit, fucking great. <laughs> you know they're about to say some uh, great ass shit. They're about to just uh -huh. drop the hammer on someone. It, you've still got more. Zvari. I'm just getting started. <laughs> And then the Bayonetta theme starts playing. <laughs> Avocado. Avocado. <laughs> Let's we're not getting, started, we're not getting that game this year, are we? I bridge, I fucking hope so, but probably not. Oh, is there Bayonetta 3 that's coming out? 
Yeah. I mean, it's been last we heard for four a while years. ago. I mean, Nintendo. Last we heard, Nintendo still says they want to get it out this year, but there's been no news since like Game Awards last year or something. So I'm just, I don't think it's likely at this point. Yeah, we we did get a new trailer, but yeah, it's uh. <laughs> Probably somebody said, oh, Ryan Mikado! <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I love that. <laughs> that's that's incredible. Uh, and, and, and then we've also got free, free Shavaka do. I'm so glad we both knew that. Yeah, that's so good. This one is simple. If this sword really was thrust in all the way to the hilt, why is there only blood on the tip of it? Uh, if this witness is telling the truth, then there should be blood along the entire length of the sword. No! I mean, that was a pretty easy one, Francisco. I'm surprised you fell for that. Yeah. Order! Wah! Motherfucker! Bravo, Miles Edgeworth. Let me get out my lines first, eh? Raising this many contradictions from a single piece of evidence. All the other attorneys I know could maybe manage one, if that. But what does all this mean? You have proven contradictions regarding the murder weapon, but... Having come this far, there is only there can only be one answer. And that is... The weapon used to kill the victim was not the Shichishito. What? Foolishly foolish idea born from the foolish mind of a foolhardy foolish <laughs> fool. Okay. Even Calm I down. think that sounded stupid. <laughs> Let's examine this again. What was it that made us think this sword was the murder weapon? It's covered in blood. Well, uh, it's stabbed it's through her body. Mr. Gami was holding it. <laughs> exactly. However, if you reflect on this, that is the only basis we have to assume such a thing. I mean, Ezra, there's a few reasons, but sure, I get you. It doesn't have to be the murder the weapon. The impression left by the scene was just too strong. That is what influenced us. It influenced us to believe that the Shichishito was the murder weapon. You're saying we were under the influence of a statue, eh? This is like that They Must Be Giants song. Motherfucker, I'm trying to make a joke and I can't read my fucking nope. line. You're not allowed to make jokes Shit. when you're the judge. I got fucking whipped again, eh? So maybe the Shichishito was not the murder weapon. And if that is the case, it changes nothing, Miles Edgeworth. The sister here saw everything. She saw the defendant stab the victim with a sword-like object. She didn't. No. She's, <laughs> she said she saw her pull it out. It's not the same thing. Hmm, that's true. Your response, Mr. Edgeworth. If that is so, I would like the prosecution to answer the obvious question it raises. The obvious question? Yes. Namely, two plus two does equal five. Fuck. Where did the real murder weapon disappear to? It goes without saying that the police searched the main hall in the surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as to if a sword-like object was found. That's... Answer the question, Miss Von Karma. No evidence of that kind was found. Get dunked on, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> hmm, another mystery to throw onto the pile. A trial without a murder weapon is a tricky beast. Excuse me. Could I say something? Oh, shit. I just remembered something, actually. What is it, sister? I was just thinking. It's possible. But just maybe. What actually happened was, it was just over there. What exactly are you going on about here? There you go. The murder weapon, I mean. Maybe... I think I might know where the sword was disposed of. What? 
Well then, I think we need to hear the testimony from you one more time, sister. Impossible. What else? What else could this old woman have seen? Whatever it is, it ain't reliable, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh, wait, actually, I just realized something. It's never a good start to a testimony. Right? It's, I forgot everything, and now I'm suddenly remembering. Uh-huh. Let's talk about that weapon. I saw the murder at around 11 p.m., and after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. Didn't you faint yeah. after seeing it? Yeah. Yeah. And You're not good at this. I saw tracks. Tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used. It takes 15 minutes to walk to Dusky Bridge, but less than five using one of those. That is so huge. What? Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while I was knocked out. Iris could have done that. She could drive a snowmobile after all. What? That's <laughs> such a huge, like, sorry, we have technology. We can rebuild him. Like, we have a snowmobile. Hmm. Witness, please tell us Everything you know right away next time. Well, I'm not in the best of shape. What with my back and my age, you know. That has nothing to do with you remembering whether or not snowmobiles exist. <laughs> Quite. There were indeed snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here is a photograph. There is a photograph. <laughs> Would you like us to look at it, Miss Von Karma? <laughs> See, look, I'm I'm hip. I can do the memes too. <laughs> a snowmobile, eh? I see. Well, it certainly is an interesting theory. I used a bunch of these to go get me a pack of tennies. <laughs> Don't you know? Uh huh. I like how you're 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 casually inserting your. Uh... Yeah, your, your trigger, my phrase. Trigger yeah, sentences. Yeah, just yeah, make sure I don't fuck phrase. it up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I get the chance, you son of a bitch. Yeah. The, tra the tracks begin in front of Hazakura Temple. It run all the way to Dusky Bridge. That's, like, how has that not been presented until now? That is such a huge piece of evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Forensic bag, that's funny. He just said, you know, with my neck, my back, and you know the rest. <laughs> my neck, my good. back, my... Oh, yeah, we can't say it. Yeah, no. You know, you know how it goes. Yeah, exactly. That, that solves your pesky little problem, yes? Fulfilla says, my clussy and my crack. Fulfilla, your time down now. Boom. Yep, get out of here. You're done. <laughs> the Eagle River's current is quite swift, meaning that it doesn't freeze over in winter, making it the perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Did she really go to the river to dispose of the murder weapon? Mr. Edgeworth, your cross-examination, please. <laughs> Well, let's look at that new picture and see if there's anything oh, weird yeah. about it. Yeah, well, there's that anything is, weird about that it. That is the most important. Uh, from the main gate to Dusky Bridge. Who took this picture? I got the ancient Police? American text. I assume. Oh, look at those footprints. Oh, there are footprints. Yeah, there are some footprints to the wow. side right there. It's only one set of footprints, which means Jesus walked. Jesus was... Jesus was carrying you. Yeah, Jesus no. Jesus carried the sword to Dusky Bridge and no, threw it in the not river. Again. <laughs> in um, uh, that's uh, that's uh, dramatic. Uh-huh. That is dramatic. So Absolutely. she saw the murder. After asking it would be reported, I went to the main gate. Oh, so this is when she asked Phoenix to go make the phone call. Went to the main gate. I saw the tracks. The snowmobile had been used. It takes about 15 minutes to walk, but less than five using the snow the snowmobile. Maybe they threw the 
thing and then came back. Iris could have done that. She can drive a snowmobile. Well, my, my counterpoint is exactly what you said, Wes, is if she drove it to the river and then walked back, then we the, the thing wouldn't be there. What thing wouldn't the be there? The snowmobile wouldn't be there. Because she yeah. would have had to drive it there. Unless it's that it was already there, and then she walked and then drove back, but that... What is... Where, where, where is this? Where is this location? The this is gate. between... That's... This is the main gate, and the tracks are leading to the bridge. Uh, if I can, okay. I can pull up the map. Yeah, it, it's the... So, like, the so that's in front of the temple. Hazakura Temple, yes. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we're assuming those tracks lead to Dusky Bridge, even though obviously we can't see that much of where I'm, they're going. I'm curious mm. if I'm curious if this is one that we can objectify. <laughs> That's yeah. not the right word, but we can <laughs> we can objectionate right away. I hate that. Uh, That's even worse. We just say object right away. <laughs> yeah. Also, a very good counterpoint is that. There's exactly one trail for the uh, snowmobile, unless they exactly like recreated their path. It's <laughs> just perfectly in reverse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see what that does. Hey. Oh well, look at that. We were on it. Well, that's nice. Yeah, this game's easy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> This is a game for babies. Uh huh. <laughs> I admit this photograph proves something. Proves that you're an idiot. <laughs> it proves that a snowmobile was used on the night of the murder. You finally accepted the inevitable, it seems. Miles Edgeworth. However, <laughs> if what the witness says is true, why is there only one set of tracks? Because Jesus is carrying you in your hardest moments. <laughs> Gosh, what do Ezra, you how don't you know this? <laughs> Iris left Hazakura Temple, threw the weapon into the river, and then returned. If this was the case, then naturally there should be two sets of tracks in the snow. Those from heading out to the bridge and those from coming back. You're right. <laughs> you are forgetting one thing, Miles Edgeworth. On the night of the murder, it was snowing. The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by the snowfall. But it stopped this at removes 11. your precious contradiction, now doesn't it? But it doesn't. I see. <laughs> while she was stopped but at while she while she was at the river, the snow stopped, leaving just the return tracks in the snow. Don't you know? What do you have to say now, Miles Edgeworth? Is there a flaw in her theory? This idea that the snowfall covered one set of tracks. Let me just check the no, timing on because, that. Because because there's footprints in it. I'm sure that's right, but yeah. The lightning, the snow stopped at 10.50. Lightning struck, the thunder lightning is very, very frightening. Mean. So I mean, that could be it too, actually. And then what's the autopsy? Autopsy was this. Stab from, okay, sometime I'm, between 10 and 11. I'm still gonna say that's, an, that? I mean, obviously it, it, there is a contradiction, but yeah, it's more of like, which one do we present? The tracks to the river were covered by snow. What a nice theory. A game theory. However, Miss Von Karma, that is impossible. Would you care to explain why there is a rude index finger currently pointed in my general direction? <laughs> I do I appreciate Point my index finger in your general direction. Oh, that's the voice of a guy who's in the spam a lot national. Been in Monty Python. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, I understudied that role. I had yeah. to learn all that shit. Yeah. No need. The evidence will do all of the talking for me. On the night of the murder, the killer went to and returned from Dusky Bridge in order to dispose of the murder weapon. 
the outgoing sna outgoing tracks were erased by snow. Or so claims Miss Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth, present your evidence to the contrary. Evidence that the outgoing tracks were not covered by the snow. Uh, I mean, the, it's I, to me, it's the it's the picture the itself that the yeah. footprints were there still. Yeah, it could I mean, be. That, I mean, I'd say it here because it's not bad as the weather report that it would it wasn't yeah. snowing long enough afterwards for. My counterpoint is that those those footprints could have been Phoenix running to make the phone call. But we could try it. The music didn't stop. Oh, no, it's yeah, wrong. Yeah, okay. Here is the evidence. What do you have to say, Your Honor? Beans. That's not the one. What's the weather one? Weather one. Oh, the music did stop this time. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Witness, please tell us again what time it was you witnessed the crime. Like I said, it was around 11. Of course, this means that the weapon was thrown away after that time, correct? On that note, please take a look at this data. Please take a look at this data! At this safe data. It is the weather... It is the weather report for Eagle Mountain on the night of the murder. The weather report? Snow started to fall at 7 p.m., but it stopped at around 10.50. Make it dong dong. Therefore, when the sister witnessed the crime at 11 p.m., snow had already stopped falling. It is impossible for any tracks made after that time to have been covered up. Ah. Order! Order! Very well, then. It looks like Miss Von Karma's claim has been... Pff, snowed in. <laughs> Wait, no, Zach. Zach, I need, you to, I need you to get your sunglasses and take that line one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even a, that's not even a good, like... It looks like fridge, Miss fridge, Von Karma's claim has been... Snowed in. That really is a CSI Miami. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, level yeah. yeah. That's terrible. Wah! <laughs> 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 oh no, he did it! He just went. That's incredible. It's too soon to be closing this trial due to snow. Oh, we still got the look, all, look at all the snow jokes we're making. This is fun. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, how pathetic you are. To, how pathetic of you to rely on the weather of all things. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, what? What even is that? <laughs> well, what, what, is, what the fuck does that mean? That's really stupid. <laughs> Answer me this then. When is a weather report ever correct? <laughs> well, damn it, you got me there, wow. Francisca. Fuck meteorologists, I guess. Is, the weather usually is wrong. Whenever I look at my phone and it's like, <laughs> it's going to rain at 5, and then it doesn't until 5.15, I'm always like, ugh. Fuck. How inconvenient. Weather the weather be cold. Weather the weather be weather hot. Weather be hot. We'll be together, we'll be whatever, together the weather. whatever the weather. Whether, whether we like, like it or, or not. not. And that's an actor exercise from Wes and Zach to everybody else. Shout out to you, <laughs> you piece of shit. Anyways, that was one of our professors. Oh, bye. Who may or may not be dead by now, which I feel bad about saying, but she was an alcoholic and shouldn't have been teaching anyways. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Wes will back me no, up on that one. No, she was a very kooky older woman, and who made us buy? Had... Who made us buy the book that she wrote for her class for eighty dollars? Yeah. Who yeah, used to be lot. the head of the department, but lost the privilege because she drove students whilst under the influence. Oh god, okay, yeah. She should uh, not have been employed there still. Anyway. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> this isn't important. Uh sorry. <laughs>
Ah, uh, no, 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 you've got it all wrong. This isn't a forecast. This is actual data. Yeah! Saved data. Hey. Forecast data. All weather reports have some inaccuracies. That's not true. This is this is what this, this is, is what they're the saying. Past. I believe. <laughs> I believe. This is them saying true. what actually happened. <laughs> you have your facts. I have my alternative. Yeah, facts. yeah. She's straight up dropping alternative facts on us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may have been still snowing in the vicinity well past eleven p.m. Hmm. It's true. We cannot be totally sure, eh? But you factually can judge. This is a past. Anyways. <laughs> what? How did she pull that off? Also, Edgeworth, how does that fucking feel, you piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> it had stopped snowing at Hasakura Temple when the murder took place. You need to provide conclusive evidence of this. I've come this far. I tried so hard. It got so hard. Wow. And in the end, <laughs> I was really hard. <laughs> Come this far. There's no turning back now. Very well. I too cannot allow any doubt to remain concerning this testimony. Ha! You can't back down, can you? Such a perfectionist, Miles Edgeworth. Very well then, Mr. Edgeworth. Where is your evidence that it had already stopped snowing when the victim was killed? Now it might be the photo. It already stopped snowing when the victim was killed. Uh... Yeah, because I think that that proves that... Uh... Well... Or, the, yeah, there's no snow on her body. There's no snow on her body! Oh, yeah, that's pretty That's pretty solid. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, I think you know that one, Dead to Rights Fridge. Music didn't stop. Oh, music did stop. <laughs> Ultimately, it all comes down to one point. That being, whether or not it was snowing in that courtyard where the victim was stabbed. That's right. But proving that is... Von Karma, you're so dumb. Incredibly easy. Oh! <laughs> Shit, I really screwed the... The German pooch on this one. <laughs> this wow, is... wow, wow. Now, 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 Francisca, please defer to Oni Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Hate that. Hate that so much. <laughs> if we want to know whether it was snowing or not, this, this photo will tell us everything. Of course, I am referring to the photo of the crime scene. As you can see, Everything is covered with snow. With just one exception. That is? The victim herself is Elise Donim. Why is there no snow on top of her? The answer is simple. It had stopped snowing when she was killed. That's why. In other words... If the killer really did go to Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon, then in this photograph, there should be two sets of tracks. Because Jesus was carrying them. Yeah! Order! Order! Just what are you... Motherfucker! Just what are you suggesting, Miles Edgeworth? I'm getting tired of this. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure myself. No one's acknowledging me. This, this is, is why I only with... let this is why I only let um Winston Payne be the prosecutor in my courtroom. <laughs> I gotta go back to Canada. <laughs> Everyone's much nicer up there, eh? <laughs> this is simply what all of the facts point to. That night, someone used the snowmobile to leave Hazakura Temple. <laughs> they moved very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And That's the, the kind of animation set. you can only get in the third game. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> From the tracks left, it can be understood that they were heading for Dusky Bridge. At that time, it was still snowing. Of 
course it was, because the Zoe's tracks were gone. Then when the when then when this person returned to Hazakura Temple. <laughs> you like my snowmobile sound effects? The snow had stopped. Thus I was the I've been practicing. <laughs> I'm auditioning for the school play. Hmm. Can I say something? <laughs> As the role of snowmobile. snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something? This all sounds a bit fishy to me. Did Bye. someone say fishy, y'all? No! She's back! What does, sister? There is only one key for the snowmobile. Oh, shit. And that's the keyblade. God damn it. And that's the power of the keyblade. <laughs> Furthermore, on that on the night in question, we know that the defendant had it. The key was found in her room after the murder. Which can only mean that night, Iris used the snowmobile to go to the inner temple. But... Iris said that she never went there. I should probably press on this point some more when I get the chance. Hmm. The snowmobile can't cross the suspension bridge. It's afraid of heights, so it won't do it. <laughs> so she must have left it on the Hazakura side of the bridge and crossed on foot. That sounds right. But... What's odd is, when I left Iris and returned to the Hazakura Temple... Oh no, it's me! What is the... I was the one who did it! What is the W for? Witness, I think. Oh. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, actually. I was like, Wyrus is not a... It's not a thing. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's my evil twin, Wyrus. Yeah. <laughs> While Wyrus. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> ah, swallow my bottle of poison! Wow! <laughs> I didn't see anything near Dusky Bridge. You must have just failed to see it, sister. Maybe, but when I made it back to Hazakura Temple. Also, Croissant said Walia, which is very good. Walia. Wally a Hawthorne. <laughs> Wally a Wathorn. <laughs> Wally a Wathorn, yeah. <laughs> it was there, by the main gate. Uh, the snowmobile, I mean. I know what I saw. It was covered in snow, too. That isn't possible. Bum, bum, bum. Order, order, order in the court. What does all this mean? So then, what was the snowmobile used for? It wasn't taken by the defendant when she went to the inner temple. If it had been, then the witness couldn't possibly have seen it by the gate. Furthermore, it wasn't used by the killer to dispose of the murder weapon. Also, was the murder weapon not found at the... Oh, I guess they're saying that the... She was stabbed earlier and then was left with the Shichishido in her. Yeah, we were, we're, we're, yeah okay. we've gotten to the point where we don't believe the Shichishido was the murder okay. weapon. Great, great, great. There was a second bladed object that was used, one that, again, would leave a more appropriate amount of blood, and yeah. we're guessing it was disposed of. The second um, the and, second blade on the on the snowy knoll. Right, and the blade yeah. is now currently resting in the body at the body dam. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, stabbed into a body. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> stabbed into a body in the body dam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If that was the case, there should be two sets of tracks in this photo. Wouldn't that be weird if there was two sets of tracks? <laughs> All we know is this. After it stopped snowing, someone used the snowmobile to return to Hazakura Temple. Hmm. I never thought a simple snowmobile could cause so much trouble. What? Then you've never been to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think we've arrived at the point due to the at this point due to the witness. Yes, yes. I've nothing more to add. 
I've told you everything. Everything that I know of. Well, then, that still leaves us with the same problem. If only there was someone, oh, no. a witness who could testify as to having seen the snowmobile. A witness, huh? Was there Maybe this witness is a piece of shit. Was oh, there no one out walking, perhaps, near Dusky Bridge out on no. that night? Maybe blackmailing a girl? Maybe they... In Maybe coding her with blackmail letters? Maybe, Maybe somebody they really completely suck? Maybe somebody who's never been able to get laid before. <laughs> and so their eyes could still see who might be driving Maybe. the snowmobile. Maybe the dredges of humanity. Someone like there wasn't anyone. I don't think that's likely. Just an absolute incel, eh? <laughs> oh, those cold enough to freeze person. your ears off. <laughs> Maybe somebody who spends a lot of time on Reddit, don't you know? Only an idiot would go out wandering in that. <laughs> well, if only we knew someone who was an idiot. Unless they had something really important to do. <laughs> like blackmailing a girl in an attempt to get laid. Hmm. Oh my god. What a shame. <laughs> Hold on. Something is coming to me. <laughs> what? The phrasing on that one is unfortunate. <laughs> An idiot may well have gone wandering out on that sub-arctic night. Your Honor! Someone was a sub. I actually have an idea. Your Honor, I have an idea. I actually have an idea. There may be one individual able to help us. Really? you know of someone who might have seen the snowmobile on the night of the murder? I don't know yes. for sure if he saw it or not. But I have but to I do warn know, you. I do know <laughs> that Jesus is with us always. <laughs> but there are two things about him that do come to mind. He Which... is the worst. And he sucks. Those kind of sound like the same thing. Which are... First... That he saw something incredible on the night of the murder. And the second being... This individual that I am thinking of went wandering outside on that cold night. He's our kind of idiot. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, who oh is God. this idiot you're talking about? I mean, yeah, I'm not even going to ask y'all. Y'all fucking know. It's goddamn Larry. It's good to know. <laughs> it's not oh, no, what, is, what, is, what is Edgeworth's picture? What is, uh, what is it for say Francisca? Like it oh. I, I, I would say Francisca, actually. That's actually a good point. My mentor, man from one karma's daughter, born and raised in Germany, <sighs> prosecutor at 13. Oh, okay. Does not does not say they are does not consider yeah. them. I'm kind of not... bummed that he doesn't like mention like we were raised as like siblings, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was Larry. It was Larry. It was Gosh. Okay. This guy must be a product of Jean Luc Jean Luc de la Duke's Guide to Obnoxious French Painting. Damn. <laughs> I, I I guess that's a bird. I don't know. Whoever Jean Luc is, get fucked. I guess. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> this is Larry Butts. The student of the victim, Elise Donim. It's Larry Butts. He is a piece of shit. Her student. Interesting. Why was he wandering out on the night of the murder? Uh, <laughs> let's not worry about that. Ooh. <laughs> I could tell them about his designs for Iris. Maybe they'll arrest him after the case if I do. This could <laughs> be huge. Makes... But it may cost us his credibility as a witness before I even call him. Edgeworth, I'm going to stop right there. After I've gotten all my use for it. Edgeworth, then... it absolutely will cost him his credibility as a witness. <laughs> <laughs> if you tell the court that he tried to blackmail a girl to get laid, yes. Yes. He is, after all, an artist. <laughs> he was perhaps searching for something in the snowy scenery that would move him. What an argument. Although I cannot guarantee that this is the reason. And so, this 
unfortunate, unreliable looking man. Wait, was he ever in JFA? Has Franziska and Larry ever met before? Um, not case one, not case two. I don't think he case... showed up in that. In no, the case. Yeah, not was... case four, no. That's amazing. Yeah, wow. So she's never seen Larry. Oh, that's so good. I can't wait to see what he thinks of her. What exactly was it that he saw? Jesus. I intend to extract that from him right here in this courtroom. Again, phrasing on that one could be better, but sure. Summon this youth as a witness immediately. Summon this intend, piece of shit. I intend to pump him for all that he I has. I hate that. <laughs> Until he explodes all over this court. Stop! <laughs> you had the perfect chance to stop. What? I'm just referring to his testimony. I hate you. <laughs> his testicloney. Oh my god. Don't yell at me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice, do I? I believe he is in the gallery for this trial. It will not take long to summon him. <laughs> Larry's like, oh shit, fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. I, s I sacrifice one witness. Wait, what? No! <laughs> a summon Larry Buck. <laughs> Very In well. worthless mode. <laughs> <laughs> Very... Larry, Butts is, Larry Butts has zero attack points and zero defense points. But his ability is be the fucking worst. <laughs> <laughs> Make, it's, it, it doesn't do anything either. Make every female card leave the fucking the battlefield. battlefield. <laughs> In absolute disgust. <laughs> oh no. Fucking uh, my Valentine's fucked <laughs> If she uh, ever no, I mean she has she has Harpy's brother and Harpy's pet dragon. Oh sure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chrono Wizard. No, my dark magician girl. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the person who to this day is still leaving save data themed <laughs> comments for Yu-Gi-Oh right. cards. You're yeah. gonna have a field day with this one. This one's for you. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. Oh no. <laughs> Harry, you may have escaped me yesterday, but today I'm going to get everything out of you. Stop. Ah. He said it. I know. The... I know. We're not blaming you, Wes. We're blaming Edgeworth for having a lot yeah. of innuendos in his dialogue. Yeah. The court will now adjourn for a 20 minute break. Miss Van Karma, please see to preparing the next witness. Understood, Your Honor. Good. Well then, court is now in recess. Look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to save that. Oh. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this because you won't see it again for two more weeks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what a cliffhanger. I know, right? We're going to get to see Larry when we come back. What a thing to return to. Yeah, well, oh, I guess are excited boy. to come back to Larry. <laughs> oh, God. That is going to do it for this week's Ace Attorney with an Actual Larry. Again, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, you can head over to twitch.tv slash save data team to catch us live. Watch a bunch of things, uh, including Deltarune, which is starting next week. Get hyped. Uh, as well as the WWE 2K22 22 stream which was a hell of a lot of fun uh please go check that out uh i think y'all i think y'all will genuinely love it and support us on patreon.com slash save team or go over to etsy.com slash shop slash save data team a few more days left to get the uh save data team pride mug for 10 percent off otherwise it will still be there uh and shout out to the bunch of people who got it this last week because i think we had like five new people order it in the last couple days so thank you all nice. very much but until next time, court is adjourned. Also, this famous quote from uh, Bridge or from West last week. <laughs> I don't know if you remember saying this. You said remember it. Remember your gay edge word. You said it as yeah, a one-off, but people fucking loved this line. Uh, and this is this is. Uh, and uh, Iris and Adrian. Oh shit! A not often Ooh, a shipped new, group, but very good. A new ship. 
Yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say, well, now that Iris is here, we need some Iris ships. That's true. I mean, listen, the Iris Feeny ships are gonna be out the wazoo. Uh, uh-huh. but thank you so much, Six. These are really cute. Uh, Beck, even though I said I was giving up art forever after Zach's comment last time, I decided to instead uh, group a favorite of everyone's uh, put a group of everyone's favorite character. It's not a spoiler; just help like, building up the big reveal. Wow! Oh, no, fuck wow. you, Beck. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're are right. all of our favorite you really characters. You really pretty much got them all. Beck, Beck out here, it. Beck is out here like, wow, Zach bullies me. I tune into stream just to see Zach bully me. But then you do shit like this, and I'm like, what? Am, my hands are tied, Beck. My hands are tied. I have to bully. You're just, you're, you're asking for it. Exactly, exactly. Also, I appreciate that on uh, when an uh, old bag and the, the on her shoulders, uh, fucking will powers, a tiny will powers. <laughs> It's very I'm good. still here, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh. And also uh on I was gonna Larry. say he's been with so wait, does that mean that Will Powers has been there the whole time? Off... No, he jumped off of the bridge with Phoenix. I hate that. Uh <laughs> he's in he's in the ho- uh, in the hospital like he's in bed the hospital. next to him. He's in the same room right next to him. I'm still here. <laughs> Why is no one shucking on me? <laughs> that was insane, wasn't it, Mr. Ryan? <laughs> that I river, didn't think we'd make it. That river was going so fast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, amazing. Thank you, Beck. <laughs> Genuinely. Soapy. Damn, still waiting on seeing a doctor? Guess I gotta go to Hottie Clinic or something. I'm doing my no. best. Thank you for being nice and patient with me in these, ti- in these times. Soapy... Always, always. <sighs> if it's okay to ask, where's the usual guy for this case? Oh, he's dead. What? What? <laughs> no, not dead. He's just sick. Stop telling everyone that he died. But it's kind of funny, though, because you guys lie during trials all the time. Yeah, as a joke. You guys lie during trials? As a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, again, the, the little drawing of like the chat as people is very good. It is very cute. <laughs> Me as Phoenix in the hospital with fucking Hottie. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh, I hate, I hate subjecting people to this voice. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, it's you again. So, what was it this time? Uh, did you have another run-in with the tiger? Or did the cute whip lady come back? <laughs> did your headphones get stolen again? Please go fuck yourself. Whoa, the deep cut. What if I could? <laughs> yeah, Sophie, immaculate that you remember that I was mugged and had my headphones stolen. But also, fuck you for making Hottie say I would fuck myself if I could because we all know that to be the truth and you nailed it. Uh-huh. Dead to rights. <laughs> Beb! Last batch of casual wear for the modern games. Plan on doing more modern clothes for Gat characters. No Nya Yuta because I don't know what, Nick, what casual clothes Kyrain would look like and I don't really feel like drawing him. God, Clavier wearing a fucking mesh like shirt. But that's very on brand for it's him. So I'm pretty brand. sure. I'm pretty sure he's topless at one point in the series. I think so too, actually. Also, the the fucking skater boy belt, ten out of ten choice. Yeah. Uh, Emma in casual clothes is immaculate. You fucking nailed it, especially oh, with the snacks. And then of course Simon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as well as as well as different designs. Yo, the Simon fucking like samurai design is fucking great. It's very good. Yeah. I love it. You crushed it, Beb. Yen with 3-5 has been so much fun to watch. Thank you all. Here's an animation cleaned up a bit of a Westworth moment from last year. I like the idea of Westworth. Uh, where uh, Edgeworth has to remind himself of who he is when he's tempted by Bikini. Which, again, <laughs> this, is, this is so good. I've seen this before, Yen. This, this is immaculately remember done. So good. It's so good. Just remember you're gay, Edgeworth. Remember. Remember. <laughs> Even Zach coming in at the end. The, the Phoenix coming in to be like, remember your good. <laughs> it's so good. It's immaculate. I love this. That's Thank you really so good. much, Yen. Uh, Miss Mischief says, I don't have a lot of art, but I uh, have Magic Girl. Yeah. This is really cool. I like this. I like this, uh, Trucy, quite a bit. Yes. So thank you very much. 
Rose, howdy y'all. Last week I went on a family trip to Texas to visit my cousin. Here's what we did on day one. Enjoy. Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. Combining real life pictures with art. Yeah. I want to say this Fair is from the perspective of Lada. Yeah. yeah. All right. He really forgot his ticket, and this is how he's gonna come with us. <laughs> <laughs> On the if you wondered how me and Max got got the funds to travel, we had a sponsor. <laughs> it's Ron. Yo, Sesame Street. Hashtag la la la. Hashtag Muppet. <laughs> Uh, oh, ooh, and I think this is Max. This has to be Max. Yeah. Lotta, Lotta wanted to ride with Rod and Desiree. That's so good. I love. The, oh, so Pearl is there. That's fuck. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, Nebexis had major surgery two days ago. So here's this drawing I did from an Armitsu week a little early. Don't know if I'm able to join the stream tonight. Hope everyone enjoys. First off, Nebexis. this art is super better. cute. Also, I hope that you're feeling better from your surgery. Yeah. This art is really cute. Holy shit. The three of them yeah. laying out and watching the stars is really cute. I love it. And then touching tootsies. Uh-huh. Oh, it's adorable. Thank you. Uh, infamously dorky with some mildly <laughs> cursed content. <laughs> Yo. Wearing their later hosen. That's so cute. Little Francisca with her papa. Goose, first time seeing something here. Oh, welcome. So I drew friend Maya for Pride Month. It's very cute. Again. Aww. Uh, Maya doing the, the bunny ears behind Fran is very on brand and I love yeah, it. So very cute. That's so cute. Adorable. Thick Taco, first time posting. Here's some friend Maya I drew back on on the back of sheet music during choir, forgetting that I'm supposed to return it after the concert. Yo, <laughs> it's super cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh my gosh. So Ezra's like seven years older than you. Isn't Nick my boss? In fact, older sister was his. My older sister was his boss. That's super adorable. These are really cute, Thick Taco. Thank yeah, you so much. Really also, thank you for posting. Yeah, first time poster. Hell yeah. Uh, Vanilla Bean, Ace Attorney is Genshin Impact. This is Franziska is yelling. Yo. She, she gets me yelling, I'll tell oh. you what. <laughs> I don't know much about Genshin Impact characters, but this design is fucking good. Yeah. Thank you, Vanilla Bean. As well as Pearl is Kiki. Yo, oh. so adorable. Oh, <laughs> you crushed it. Oh, wait, there's more. Iris is Klee. Oh, so adorable. These are all very cute. Yo, these fucking kids. Look at these little baby girls. Vanilla bean, adorable. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hot people, caffectionate. Hot people, derogatory. No, I think it's just affectionate. Fuck, I hate that I read that as ca like caffeine. Like caffeine affectionate. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm an idiot. That makes way more sense. Caffection. And then the chat's going to drill me on that one. Uh, yep, it's already started. <laughs> King Kira, oh my god, this is a good Kirby joke. That is a good Kirby joke. Wow. Fuck. What is the name of the Kirby friend? Uh, Kine? Incredible. A lot of heart is that incel fish kind. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Corona Wizard finally put together some art for the last case, although I'm going to miss Ace Attorney for the next two weeks. I'll be sure to work on a dump for just in case, just for case five when it comes back. Also featuring some bonus Dahlia doodles. Oh, that's, that's Gumshoe the Gandalf. White. Gumshoe the White. Yeah, that's right. Look to my testimony, pal. At first light on the fifth case at <gasps> dawn. Look to the east. Uh, now, look here, De Detective Hosers Deep. One does not simply acquire a glorious judge beard and is... Is that my brother, Steed? <laughs> Fly, you pals. <laughs> <laughs> is that... Oh, yeah. Is that true? Gumshoe! Who shall not pass, pal? <laughs> Epic Seth. Epic Seth. Down. Oh my god. <laughs> Phoenix down. Yo! Dahlia's fucking Sephiroth? 
That's Phoenix down. down. That's ah, so ah, good. Ah, ah, ah. Immaculate Chrono Wizard. And Ben. First time I get to a live stream after binging a stream with an actual lawyer. I couldn't think of a good bit of yours I wanted to draw, so I made Ace Attorney Death Note instead. Holy shit, this Ooh. anime realisticness. This is really good. Yeah. So what do you think we should do, Prosecutor Edgeworth? It seems the channeling requires both the name and the face of the deceased being channeled. Furthermore, I've already deduced our target is from the Japan the Japanifornia area, as only this area received the news that this criminal was dead, making him available to be channeled. Given this information, it's reasonable to assume our target is quite close to us indeed. In fact, the possibility that Maya is the criminal known as Ki Kyanira has gone from 5% to 6%. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kayanera is how Japanese kind of would pronounce channeler, much like Kira is killer. Oh! Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. That's fucking good! He is Kira! Yeah, holy shit. Ben, That's this great. fucking kicks ass! 